Hey parents, this is tip number three in the GPS Thriving Through the Holidays video series. I had a parent ask me, what do I do about all of the judgment that's coming at me from family members who parent differently than I do? And this is such a hard one because parenting would be a lot easier if there weren't so many other people who had opinions on it. So there's a couple of key pieces here. And um, if you haven't watched tip number two about sensory overwhelm, I'm gonna ask you to go back and watch that one first because it talks about how you can support your child. And when your child is supported and set up for success, their behavior is going to be better anyway, which is gonna bring less judgment down on you. Um, but in terms of the other family members, one thing that you can do is um, kind of think ahead about who your allies are going to be at this particular event. Are there people that you can call ahead of time and say, hey, I know this is gonna be a tough one because grandma's house smells like mothballs and potpourri and that's really gonna be tough for my kiddo. You know, they're gonna be on edge. There's a lot of people. Can you help me problem solve so that um, it's not all on me to, to try and, and keep them regulated? Um, you can also practice what you wanna say ahead of time. You know who the people are that are gonna make comments. You know who's gonna come up to you and try to tell you that they can fix your kid's ADHD. You know who's gonna come up to you and tell you that your toddler should be toilet trained already. You know who's gonna be looking at your child when they're melting down under the Christmas tree and thinking that child is ungrateful. You know who those people are. So think about the scenarios and give yourself kind of a mental script about how you wanna handle it. You know, saying things like, I appreciate your concern and we're doing what is in Johnny's best interest. Or saying things like, I understand your perspective and it's not helpful right now. So I'd really appreciate it if you could let us focus on our child. You know, however you wanna say that, you can say it nicely or you can say it bluntly. It's totally up to you. But the bottom line is, ultimately, you and your children are the ones who are in this together and your kids need to know that you're gonna protect them, that you're gonna stand up for them, and that you are going to ensure that their sensory needs and their developmental needs are met. When you go home at the end of the day, you're the one with your kids. Grandma's not there, your mother-in-law's not there, nosy cousins aren't there, it's you and your child, and you're gonna be in it together for their whole lifetime. So just, Give yourself permission to stand up for your kid, even if that rubs some people the wrong way. Because this is such a delicate one and it's so situation specific, if you have questions, please do book a Connect with Kate call. I'd love to talk to you.